massive up air combos and the like block stuff. But all right, here we got KOM and S Fen. And S Fen, yeah, I, I was playing against KO in friendlies and I was watching a little bit of his bracket today. He is playing absolutely on fire. Um, uh, honestly, like, like again, like I was talking with like Captain Q's execution. Um, KOM just absolute beautiful execution with Peach. Even even if he doesn't zero to death, you're going to be taken for a lot of damage off stage. And if Robin keeps you know staying off stage, they might run out of their upbeat here. And it's looking like that might happen soon. Yeah. A lot of characters on stream today. That's like you got to know the matchup if you want to have a chance. Like Peach absolutely falls in that category with Float and all like the down tilt, y'all like that. Wow. You got to be ready for the edge guards and the float cancels and all that stuff. Meanwhile, Robin kind of in the same boat, I'd say, with like the neutral B and the books and his like resource management. So this should be an interesting, uh, interesting set. Yeah, a, a lot of stuff to keep track of. Um, New England definitely a, a pretty odd region in in terms of, of character choice. Um, base eight beat down. Offers a wide variety of characters. You guys should come through and check them out. True. Right yeah. now, a KOM is making the case as uh, for Peach being the best character um, on this setup right now. Espen is sort of trying to find his way um, around these like beautiful boxing options that Peach has. You know, she doesn't do well against swords, but KOM is still finding his way in every time. Yep. Yeah. Just trying to do the Peach things. Get in there with flow cancel backers and. Turn up, Arch Guard return up, all that kind of stuff. Nice. Everyone gets him off stage, as I said. Try to Edge Guard with the turn up. Espen gets through. Surfman. Nice. Oh, he gets him with the sword, the Levin sword. I guess it is Surfman. Surfman, yeah. Surfman. Yeah, it's Surfman back throwing Peach saying, look what I can do. Yes. <laughs> Don't forget what my name is. Yep. Remember my name, Sir Spin. I look what I can do. Wow. Almost gets that uh almost gets that trap on the platform with the with the side. It would have been a lot of damage. KLM instinctively knowing to roll in. The that kill. There. Yeah, that might have been a little bit of conspicuous DI there from Sir Spin, but solid uh back air work from KLM. Oh gets the down tilt going. Drops it pretty fast, but wow. getting right back into it with the turnips. Wow, Kalem is doing such a beautiful job getting in, even against these swords and these projectiles that Peach really tends to struggle against. Yeah. Oh, so it's fantastic and Nosferatu. Don't think I pronounced that right, but we're just going to move on. Oh, <laughs> no, and... Oh, there's been SDs with Robin and Neutral mm. Hate to see that, but Kalem still doing a solid job. Yeah, th this is a this is a big difference from the last set. You know, the, the the last set started out, you know, game one, like last stock. This set's looking a little different already. It's looking like KOM in, in, in a pretty dominant um, in a pretty dominant position as they should. I mean, their their, their execution is, is is seeming pretty phenomenal today. I, I I think they deserve to be where they are right now. Um, Sirsvin wants to have something to say about it. I mean, we'll we'll, we'll see if he adapts. You know, we'll, we'll see what happens. We're gonna need some big response from Sarah Spin here. Yeah, we're gonna need a, a little bit of a twit longer in Smash form here. <laughs> yep, <laughs> absolutely. Sarah's been trying to get the, sword, the 11 sword combos going. That sword does so much damage, it's nuts. Already he like at four 66. times, he's at 66. Wow. Okay, I'm trying to get the edge guard here. Get some back out there. Down tilt forward there. Get back on stage. Wow, yeah. Uh, Sirspin holding in a, a little bit more than he was before, going for a little bit more of an aggressive approach, saying, you know, if, if you're going to meet me in the same spot, I, I, I might as well beat you there first. Yeah, looks like a good battle for the between these two players for center stage right now. Yeah. Trying to throw each other off stage, get a kill. Wow. Raw F smash under the platform for uh, Sirspin. That was such an incredible read. Peach float canceling right above you, and you just say, "Yeah, I know you're gonna <laughs> drop the float cancel, and, and you're you're gonna come right down in front of me, and I'm gonna S smash you." That was my arms. He was ready for it. Yeah. The stuff from Sir Spin. Oh, the triple. Wow. Eleven sword. Oh, and the F smash. He's at 55. Ooh, 
68 percent be because of the because of the bubble percentage. Wow. Wow. Right that was unfortunate. What went for the nose for Atu on shield? Had oh. the read, but didn't have enough book. And here's our big friend, Mr. Saturn. This yeah. is. This should be fun. This always is always really fun scary. when Peach pulls out a Saturn or a bomb. They are keeping it. I, I know some players who, whenever they see a Saturn or a uh, bomb, they'll just throw it off stage. Be like, nah, I don't want that cheese. This is no items. Yeah, Kalem taking advantage of every tool he has. Um, Surf the Night Theory oh, shield right now. There goes Saturn. Tragic. What Fun a while he lost it. <laughs> <laughs> A loyal member of Peach's army. Absolutely. What's Killed the, by what's the odds Dude. for uh, Saturn? It's like one in... It's something ridiculous, but... It's something crazy. I wish we had oh, Team Sword in this game, dude. Oh, I missed that. Yeah. Always fun when he shows up. Espen getting the... Or Sirspin, my bad. Gets the edge guard there. Yeah. I, I, I was talking about swords, and then Sirspin said, <laughs> Look at my sword. Look at my I'm, I'm sword. sword. Look at me. <laughs> Oh, it tries to get the down V there. And Surfit has the lead right now. Yeah, he's cooking. Getting the cha chains of weapon sword combos. Tries to get checkmate at 45. Oh, there it goes. Nice. Yeah, the, this is sort of the response we were talking about. Like the the, the, the thing that, that Surfit needed, this this um the, this big reversal, and right now he's ahead of percentage, 85% from one move. Yep. He's cooking right now, he's gotta close it out, we'll see. Tries to get the arc fire. Peach rolls in, gets a down smash. Try to get something to go with the turrets. All oh, are the turnips. Turrets. <laughs> <laughs> the, the little vegetable things with eyes. Yes. Peach pulls out of the ground. You know. Oh, the down air. Wow. It's the float. Good. Yeah. So as we said, good response by Surfspin. Yeah. He brings it to a game three. Can he keep it up? We will see. Yeah. So Surfspin was like the at least game one. He was staying at a very like specific range. Um, trying to stay safe after he, the KOM took his first two stocks, um, I think Surfspin felt a little maybe scared, a little bit unsure of answers, and I think this game Surfspin went in with a plan, and they just executed it really well. They said, "I'm not scared of you anymore. You're all, all you are is a is a queen in a dress. Eat the rich. Robin's <laughs> gonna take care of her pretty pretty easy." And, yeah. Game three, um, is KOM going to have an answer? I, I don't know. Yeah, I think this is going to come down to whoever has center stage because yeah. when uh, when Surfspin at center stage, he would just go right after KOM, get those forward airs and nares and there and basically just take him from 0 to 60 in like one edge guard. So we'll see if he can keep it up now. Town and City again for game three. Yeah, we'll see I, how this goes. I wonder who this is a better stage for here. I'm not a big person on... Uh, on stage science. How about you? Did you know um, who's, who's better stage for? I mean, no, I'm not really either, but I'd say Peach is usually better without platforms because of like the down tilt combos and the float cancels. So, oh, early on, almost got the cheese. So maybe, I don't know, but Town and City's platforms are pretty spread out. So I think this is decent Peach stage, but I have no idea how this is for Robbie. Probably okay, but I'd say neutral for both players. Oh, oh just misses the down boot. Yeah, I, I don't think speed. platforms are gonna come too um, in the clutch or, or hurt either character way too much. I think the, the, the biggest thing is how large of a stage um, Town and City happens to be. And yeah. I think um, Surfspin is going to really love the, this room to, to charge all their projectiles. And right there, Kalem giving him no room, going to give him a little tushy there, and he's going to die at something like 110. Yep. Solid edge guard from Kalem. Oh, and SDs. That's yeah. what you hate to see right there. Even footing here. Game three of this 20% uh, off a jab. That's solid. Wow. I didn't know Robin had a multi-jab. We're learning things. Look at that. Yeah, he's got, they got like the exploding one, and then he's got the multi-hit one, which is apparently is pretty good. Speaking of explosions right oh, now, look at this conversion. Combo. Wow. Oh my god, he's at 77 after like five seconds. Oh, but KOM trying to teach him. Wow. Oh, that's... almost gets checkmate. That is All right, such beautiful KOM pressure. KOM is in a rough spot right now. Oh, this is the 11 sword. Oh no. Can he edge guard him? Close it out. This is the dash attack. Now he's in a bad spot. He gets a forward air. Send him to the other side. Kalem's got to find a way in right here. Surfspin is just not letting Kalem in. And there we go. They, they, they go off stage. And, and Surfspin, complete reversal from game one. Like, just beautiful adaptation going on here. Kalem's got to find an answer. Yep. Kalem's just got to find a way in, or else uh, Surfspin is just going to keep cooking. 
Oh, tries to get an up smash read. Sirsman on top of it. Kale trying to get a peach combo going. Sirsman is just not having it. Oh, Levin Sword from the heavens. <laughs> Levin Sword just appearing out of nowhere, disrupting that whole sequence. Kale, I'm at the edge guard again. Can't close it out. Unfortunate. Oh, almost gets the arc fire confirmed. I want to say that wouldn't kill. But because of how jank this game is, I wouldn't yeah. be surprised. He did charge it. it a little bit, so he yeah. might have just exploded. <laughs> Certainly right now at 81%, one of those up smashes that killed 91%. Sirsfin, a solid, very solid stock ahead. Um, again, Peach, no stranger to comebacks. KOM certainly has a very solid combo game if if he wants to get on. Sirsfin's second stock and do some damage. Dash deck almost killing off the top. Solid DI there from Sirsfin. Yeah, Sirsman's doing a really good job of keeping KOM off the ledge when he's off stage. Yeah. Oh, and can close it out right here? Yeah. So, good comeback from Sirsman right there. Found a way in. KOM, unfortunate loss, but I'm sure he'll find a way back in losers. Wow, yeah. Sirsman just saying, like, I know what makes this matchup bad for you, Peach, and I'm just not going to let you in. Yeah. I'm going to keep throwing these projectiles at you. You can try and float over everything, but... Um, but alas, you're, you're still gonna die. That, that, that was a 